everything kind of just snowballed. Mm -hmm. How did you guys get ahead of that in third quarter today? <clears throat> I mean, I don't think we started off too great either, but I felt once we kind of, I don't know, picked up our pace a little bit, I think we had a lot of turnovers in the first half. It was impressive we were honestly still in the game at halftime considering I think they took 15 more shots than us. Like, So I think that was almost a positive considering it was, a, what, two points at halftime, whatever it was. We felt like we were right there and really played a, a crappy half. So I'm proud of us. I thought we chipped away. We were resilient um, and we really executed when it mattered. Um, I think we got down 14 and then we continued to to find a way. Started off the, the fourth really good and then I think they even responded and made it seven again. So. Um, just proud of our group. I thought Tammy gave us really good minutes. I thought she was she's all over the place defensively. She impacts the game in ways that's probably not going to show up on here. Obviously, she's four for seven tonight, and that, that mid-range jump shot was huge that she made late, too. So um, just really proud of her. Um, and then A.B. was incredible and made some big shots for us. So not our prettiest, but found a way to get it done. We go Matt, we go Christine. Yeah, Kaylin, you play all 45 minutes. You help in the comeback. Um, Right before halftime, or I guess right at halftime, mm -hmm. uh, you quickly go into the tunnel. You're the first one to do so. Um, just kind of, what were your emotions like in that moment? I thought it was a bad half. Like I simply thought it was a bad half. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got. Christine, Aaliyah, great game I mean, for both of you. Obviously, and just it's so exciting. I mean, the, you know, the crowd is just going crazy, right? Um, can you describe where this team is? We haven't had a chance to talk to you in a few days. You know, what's going right? How do you take, well, I think it was, you're down 16 midway through the third quarter and you come out with a victory like this. You've been around this team last year, this year. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, I think right now we're kind of in a space where we just have to make sure that we're keeping our foot on the gas. Um, I think we know that we're very capable of beating um, any single team just because of the way we play, the pace that we play at, and just the weapons that we have um, all around the floor. And so for us, I'm, I'm really proud of us today because we were down 15, but that we that didn't stop us. We came in timeouts to talk about what we need to do. We talked about executing, make sure we're getting stops, and then being able to score. And so I think um, that we're in a good spot. Just continue to know that even if we're down, no matter what time of the game it is, we're very capable of coming back. Go blue, then we go Scott. Did, uh, does this feel like a playoff game? The, the crowd, you know, being as into it as they are, absolutely they really are anyway. I think but every I single think game when, when we're competing, we've uh, never played in a playoff game. But I'm, I'm trying to assume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you predict the future? <laughs> hey, I guess. Hey, 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 we can see. I think they got, see. I think they got a little more. <laughs> Ali, what did you feel in the post? It looked like you were being really decisive with what you were doing, good footwork, getting into your shot. Um, and we've seen a lot more of that lately. Have, has that been something behind the scenes you've also been emphasizing? I mean, I think it's just being able to make the right read um, once again, and then sometimes they double, sometimes they did it. So just being able to be patient in the post um, and understand that they're coming and where that double's coming from. And if I can still take it, then we try to get to the free throw line. Go in the back row, then we'll go to Mike on the right. Uh, Ali, uh, uh, the shot that you made, I think you went over your right shoulder, left-handed layup uh, to take the lead, uh, or actually tie the game. What were you? What was the, the mindset on that? What, what did you see? Like I saw it coming, and I was praying that you guys were in that play, but it it happened, and it was it was great. I mean, when you look at how they're playing, too, um, I mean, you just have to be able to make the right read. And sometimes they jump out too early because they're assuming that something's going to happen. And just being able to make a move right in that split second is important because especially when you have someone like Caitlin who could be getting the ball, they're going to definitely want to jump at her. And so just being able to read that and go score. Stay next to you on the right. Mike, you want to start? Yeah. Um, Caitlin, in a game like this where, like you said, you, you don't feel like you're playing your best, mm -hmm. but the resilience. Mm -hmm. How much has that built up even in the last month mm -hmm. uh, about this team? Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest ways we've improved over the course of the year, especially since then, but since probably a little bit before the second, uh, the Olympic break, and then definitely here in the second half. So um, I'm proud of our group. It's just, you know, teams that are in the top of our league, and Atlanta, obviously Atlanta is a really good team, but, you know, the Liberty, Connecticut, Minnesota, these are those are the type of teams that do not let you back from a 16 point lead, like that just doesn't happen. And we have to find a way to, you know, be able to respond a little earlier for ourselves. Like, you know, things I think continue, you know, we, we sometimes get down and we don't always stop the bleeding right away. And, but I think the positive is, like I've said before, like at the beginning of the season, 
that was really bad news for us and 16 turned into 30 or something like that and for now we just find a way to chip away and I think at the same time we have the confidence of knowing what our offense is capable of and we know what our offense can give it's just really you know on defense getting stops I think we got quite a few we call them kills three in a row um there I think especially when Temi came into the game she she caused a lot of problems with her length and Lexi I mean Lexi's given the hardest task every single night chasing their best player so you have to give her a lot of credit too Stay on the right and third row. Uh, Rob, uh, CHI. Uh, Caitlin, you mentioned the, the turnovers earlier and how bad it was mm -hmm. in the first half. I kind of want to circle back to that a little bit. Uh, what was the kind of the message on that topic at halftime? Because you really cleaned it up. A lot of those turnovers in the first half were, were on force. What was kind of sure. the message in that first half? We only four after half. Time. Yeah, I thought a lot of them definitely were on force, whether it was dribbling off a leg, backcourt violation, which was not a backcourt violation. You all saw it. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. I don't know, but that's not a backward violation. Um, and yeah, I mean, and like, I felt, I felt like one turnover turned into two turnovers and that was the problem for us. And sometimes when it would just play right into their hands, like the ones that, you know, weren't forced, that was all our doing. Um, and those are the ones you really have to eliminate. If you're, you know, trying to make a play and it's a good turnover, you know, we still don't want it, but at least give your team a chance to get back and play defense. So um, I think that was the area we cleaned up. The ones in the second half didn't feel as much, you know, they didn't score as much off of them. Minus probably the one I threw across court to Lexi that Ryan stole, but um, a lot better in that area in the second half. Matt? Yeah, Leah, um, coming out of the break, you've gone up against plenty of veteran forwards and, and, and you've won. So is there a conversation uh, that you have with yourself, a message that you tell yourself coming into these matchups? Um, honestly, I just tell myself to dominate. Like that's really my mindset, no matter what, um, who I'm playing, just because like I know what I'm capable of and I know that I'm equipped. And so for me, if I go into a game thinking, oh my gosh, they have, they have experience over me. Oh my gosh, this happened last game. Then it's, I'm already down um, no matter what. And that's not exactly what my team needs. And so just continue to come in every single night knowing that um, they're going to score and just make it hard for them. Like, I feel like Tina Charles, every single time she's played me, she's had 20 on my head, but that's okay. Because <laughs> I come in again and I make it my, I try my hardest and we come out with the wins. So that's okay.